Shout, shout out one more time. It's a shout out to Red Hook Projects, Brooklyn, New York, and Webster South Bronx. Webster Projects, 179th Bird Avenue, along down down the hill from the Grand Concourse. Yes, mm, shout out to my people over there. Help is on the way. And it took over and being dominant. Uh, Mayors, senators, president, movies, presiding. So now as you know, you're just a man, you know. So see, when you get back to who you are, your relationship to your higher power, then you realize that the word race is not the word to use, which is tribe. And it tells you if you're in this tribe, your responsibilities, your protocol, things you should do, things you should not do, was given laws. The word law that was spoken was spoken by a man that was called prophets. These men that was called prophets was there to what? Prove it. The word prophet only means to prove it. Right. See, then you had other laws that was given by kings and at the time the kings was called um, like Mal, word Mal, or Maliki, king. Mal is king. So M-A-L, you have L-A-W, the inverted M-W, which is law. Look at the word Mal, or Maliki, which is king. Now look at law. The laws from the kings, because you had kings. After the prophets gave the laws, right, then they had what they call um, the high priest. After the high priest, then they wanted kings to rule them. They wanted somebody to rule them. People wanted them to rule them. They had kings. But anyway, you have many laws that the high priest gave with your Levites. See, from Moses. Moses was in Egypt. Egypt was the center of knowledge, or knowing, or knowledge. Moses came and took that, and showed them that the knowledge that they had was void because he had a knowing. He had a spiritual knowledge. Now let's explain that to the people that deals with factology. In order to have a fact, it must be agreed upon. It has to be measured. And it has to be used basically by what they call the five senses. Seeing, hearing, taste, and smell, and feel. Now these five senses is measured by those of whoever's in control. Just, just to show you. You could say, uh, this is such and such many miles, this is such and such many kilometers, this is such and such many centimeters, millimeters, and you can still be exact, but you're using different words. So in reality, when you talk about facts, you talk about things that basically is negotiable, it's not solid. But see, when you, when you have knowing and you deal with the spiritual world. This is what happens. You go from zero and your facts. You go from zero, one, two, three, four. It's one, two, three, four, it's plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, it adds up, it keeps going. But when you deal with the spiritual world, you go minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. And you, you start to go in where you cannot see these things. The only way these things are represented is, is with vibrations, a higher vibration. Now these high vibrations that the scientists use, right, or they use things of the microscope, right, micro, microscope, right, to see things that they can't see by the eye. These same things that you can't see by the eyes are what they call the unseen. The unseen things control the things that you're seeing. The things that are seen 
is controlled by the things that are not seen. So, when you base your life on facts, you have to realize that destination was always given to what they call a guide. And this guide was given what they call way of inspiration. And this way of inspiration will knock facts out the box. Just like I'm telling you now about the woman. Now the woman, you have man, you have woman. You have the X and X and the X and Y. The X and X represent woman, the X and Y represent man. The X represent the physical part. The Y represent his mental part. Why is this? Why is that? The Y is a dominant factor. One Y, you have a boy. Two X's, you have a girl. So that one Y knocks out the two X's. The Y in man is the questions or the answers to the question. Why is this? Why is that? Which he should be giving it to his mate, his woman, you see, giving her the light. If she does not have the light, she will go to another light. And this is what's been happening since the arrival to America. The knowledge to sustain the woman went into a physical realm, which is the X. It's all physical things. The five physical senses, seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, and feeling. That brought about, was brought about by the lesser or the children of the dam or the proceed or the spirit of dis disagree disagreeables went into their body and they said, well, you know what, we're going to get the woman like this. We're going to have to do this and blah, 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 blah. Now, the children of Elohim that are speaking to them, it's time for you to learn who you are because you are mixed in with the bad seed or the disagreeables or the evil makers. You see, everybody, you're not evil. And we know you're not evil. And we were watching you. And we want to guide you and escort you out of what they call the valley of the shadow of death. As we say, we're fair no evil for thou with us. We are with you. You see. Your Father in heaven is the seer. He sees all. He's the hearer. He hears all. So we're talking about how the woman got their power from the lesser side to disagreeables, gave women power. And this is what's represented in a flag, the five-point stump, the head, the arm, the arm, and the two legs, a woman. And a woman can be upright, or she can be downright. If she's downright, she's represented by the ram. Five points start inverted, which is the practice of all things as evil. See, but today, the women in the world will even try to fool the elite because there's no such thing as race. The word race is the word care. And who do you care for? See, the truth is here to let you know how you should go. See, they look for the light in the sky. Everybody look for the light. It was a spark. They call it the star. And that's what we have today. Spectology. The answers to your living. Spectology. The answer to the question that you call life. Or the question within your life. Because the word life is the word lie.